appreciate everybody joining us today and spending a little bit of time to learn about uh, Starship and APS payments. Uh, today, we're going to highlight our integration with SAP Business One and show you how you can ship it and get paid easy. So, a little bit about VTech before we get started. Uh, the company was founded in the late 80s and uh, have a customer base of over 10,000 customers currently. Uh, we also offer the SAP Business One integration amongst many other ERP interfaces as well. Uh, currently, VTech supports uh, SAP Business One version 9.3 and version 10. So how is Starship going to help you? Uh, we can provide you with a multi-carrier platform that enables you to have both parcel and freight carriers side by side so you can make an educated decision about how you want to uh, ship your products out and also you're not locked into just one carrier. It gives you the ability to optimize your packing. So we have the ability to uh, work with uh, deliveries inside of Business One to bring over all of the packaging if you have your items packed up there. Or Starship can also uh, have formulas that are defined at the item level in order to uh, streamline that process and bring in case packs or prepackaged goods. Uh, Starship also offers a um, consultation that can be done, uh, basically an audit of your uh, parcel volume. We can look at ways that we can help you reduce your freight spend by potentially you know, changing some of the packaging or looking at uh, postal rates. There's uh, quite a bit of savings that can be done um, in the packages that are 20 pounds or less by shipping some of that volume to the post office. Starship also gives you the ability to uh, keep your customers notified. So uh, there's a customizable email template that's available. Instead of uh, sending the notifications through the carrier emails, you have the ability to add some branding and also some marketing information in there uh, to basically increase repeat business, having customers visit your site or your cart. And you can also put any kind of marketing uh, messages in there, either attachments or in the body of the email. We also have the ability to hook into other external systems, so there are companion packages uh, for EDI and uh, warehouse management. Uh, so you have the ability to uh, pick and pack and do your fulfillment on a handheld, uh, put the delivery into Business One, and we can pick up all that information there. We can also do a handshake with your EDI solution where all of that package data and all the tracking information all the, all the contents of the packages can be handed off to your EDI solution to automate the ASM process and send off, the, send off that 856 without you having to go into the EDI solution and duplicate your data entry. Starship also is offered uh, in two packages. You have uh, both a on-prem or a cloud version available as well. Quick look here at some of the various carriers that are supported. Uh, Starship started originally as a parcel solution about uh, uh, 10 or 11 years ago. We started adding uh, support for additional LTL carriers, and we continue to add modules over time in order to uh, flesh out our offering of services. Uh, in the last year here, we've uh, also brought on a number of Canadian uh, carriers as well. So you have uh, Purolator, Canpar, and Canada Post available, and Starship also supports our neighbors to the north uh, for Canadian origins. We also have a, a new integration available with uh, FreightView TMS. Uh, we've partnered with uh, FreightQuote and CH Robinson for a number of years. And uh, now we have the uh, FreightView uh, platform that's available as a TMS that can load in uh, rates for uh, multiple uh, carriers that we don't have direct support for. So beyond the carriers that you see here, we can also set up rates for many other carriers. And you also have uh, an option of about 20 different uh, 3PLs that you can get rates from as well. So quite a few options there. This list is always growing. If uh, there are a number of carriers or services that you are using, feel free to contact either myself or your customer account manager, and we can uh, you know, take, you, uh, take you through the different options that are available for licensing and see if we can't uh, help you hook up all of your different carrier rates. Uh, Starship also offers uh, e-commerce integrations, and that can work hand-in-hand -hand with your SAP Business One implementation, where all the orders, if they're flowing through into Business One, you have the ability to map uh, some fields of data, and we can pull those e-commerce orders out of the um, ERP and hit the web services for the carts uh, in order to update the fulfillment status and uh, you know, basically mark the order as shipped on the cart or the marketplace where you're shipping from. 
and uh, also push back all of the shipment details, the tracking, the freights, all the information about your packages over on the cart. So if you're uh, routing your customers to the portals in order to find the status or use that to trigger emails off the shopping cart, uh, Starship can automate that process for you. You also have the option of shipping directly against your marketplace or e-commerce orders as well. And you'll see a bunch of different names here. Similar to the carriers, we're always looking for feedback from customers. So if there are other cart or uh, marketplace platforms that you're selling on, feel free to let us know and we'll definitely take that into consideration. And with that, we're going to jump into the product demo. We'll take you through a quick overview of Starship. Uh, so with uh, SAP Business One, you have the ability to ship against orders, deliveries, and invoices. Starship can also move the uh, transaction along the workflow from uh, the open stage of the order, make it into a delivery, or can ship against the delivery and turn that into an invoice. And those are preferences that can be set up inside the interface. Uh, you have the ability to enter or scan the sales transaction here. Our Starship also offers you filters where you can drill down into a subset of the order data here where you want to look for a specific transaction um, based on the PO number or date, any of the address fields. Uh, so you can use this to carve up the view below here in this order management view. You can also sort on any of these headers here similar to Excel. We'll go ahead and start shipping. I'll just take this first order here. So Starship's going to connect over to your Business One data. Uh, it'll retrieve all of the uh, order header information, the line items, any reference fields that you want to appear on the labels or documents, and give you that uh, real-time automation. You can see here in a number of uh, different tabs or uh, widgets here on the screen, it'll display all of the pertinent details uh, from the order. You can drill down into that a little bit further if you click on the pencil icon, and you can see there's an expanded list of fields available here in the view. Now, for example, if you are shipping an e-commerce uh, transaction, you'll have that, that data mapped over here. Each one of these widgets can also be customized, so you can pick and choose what fields uh, are available to you in this view. So you have your return address, your ship to address. As that record is coming over from Business One, we're going to validate the address. So you'll see a green checkbox there, lets you know that we validated it. If you have it marked uh, for EDI, we can uh, generate the uh, serialized container IDs for both your pallets and your packages, print your 128 labels, and then automate that ASN process for you. Your ship via code, that'll be translated from the carrier and service uh, marked as the ship via. We can do translations there. The operator can always come in here and pick a different carrier as well. And we can support third party or collect billing. You have all of your products that'll come over as well as the um, packaging if you're shipping against the delivery. So it'll come in all packed up. If you have multiple products here, you can assemble those here on the Starship screen itself, or you can disable that if you want to just preserve the packaging that's inside of Business One. You can see the items that are nested inside each of the containers. Starship also has a packaging database here. So you can select a container that you want to put it in, and that can also store the dimensions. The dimensions, it'll compare the actual weight versus the build weight. So it'll rate it based on the cubic space that it's gonna take up in the truck, and that'll appropriately bill it with the carrier. You can see our charges down below here. Uh, it's going to go out to the carrier based on your accounts and uh, hit the API to retrieve all the, the data. Bring in uh, the rates here. You have the list price, your cost, and then you can add any kind of handling or discounts on top of that according to how you want to charge the customer. So in this case, we'll just have a 15% markup here. So if there's ever a question, you have the ability to go back into Starship's history or need the inquiry screens to see how we arrived at that price. You also have the ability to do rate shopping. So here you can take a take a look at all the various carriers that uh, are available to you. Uh, we'll go ahead and leave it with UPS, but you can see here's potentially some savings to send it out with the post office. Uh, Starship can also write back the actual service that was used. So if we decided to send this postal or FedEx or put it on a pallet, uh, we can do reverse value translation and put that data back into Business One for you as well. Once it's processed on the Starship side, um, your labels, your documents will all print out. Cursor will come back here so you can enter the next transaction. And then we're putting real-time 
uh, status updates back in the business once so you have that available there for customer service and for invoicing. That's the idea of getting your freight into uh, the business one uh, transactions uh, right away. So that way, you know, APS could do their thing and get you paid. We'll go ahead and open up the order here. So again, orders can be turned into deliveries. Deliveries can be turned into invoices. I have it disabled and I have just the freight writing back directly into my order. So we've captured the marked up amount here. And then in the pick pack remarks, we're gonna take all the notes from the shipment and uh, put those into the notes here that can be printed on your invoice, sent to the customer, and you can adjust those. Uh, all the notes are fully customizable on the Starship side. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple other quick features here on Starship before I turn it over to Hillary. Um, as I mentioned, you can uh, do lookups on the Starship side uh, from the front office. We have a dashboard with inquiry screens. You have a number of uh, different uh, reports or analytics that are built in here that give you some uh, some basic overview of your freight spend over a period of time. You have a heat map that'll show you where the concentration of products are being shipped to. And then here from the uh, the history, you can do lookups here on any of the SAP Business One order details or any of the Starship fields. You can really query anything. So your PO, your order number, customer ID, a date, anything like that can be queried. You can call up the shipment here. We can go back into our history and we can look at all the details from the shipment. And this would allow you to look at the freight, see exactly how we arrived at that point. If there's any handling set to that, you can see exactly how we charge the customer. Any documents or labels here, if you need to reprint those, those are available. Uh, Starship can also be set up to track packages in the background. Uh, so this is not a live shipment, but uh, just pop this up here. This is exactly what you'd see uh, for the status. So we can track all the packages up to the point that they're delivered. And we can also flag any uh, exemptions. So we can give you an exception report of any late deliveries. You can go ahead and take that tracking and go ahead and uh, file a claim with the carrier. Real quick, uh, again, the stuff will be here. All the status uh, will be in business one. You'll have access to the dashboard for your front office employees. You can also be proactive and go out and send emails to your customers as well. These can be branded, so you can have your own uh, formatting in there uh, with uh, your logo and colors, however you want to uh, mark that up here. You have full control over that to add links or graphics. You can control the background colors and all the fonts. And these are templates that are built in. You can modify any of these here. You have access to all the order data and the shipment data that you can configure this with. One of the really cool things that Starship can do is also send attachments of any of the shipping documents. So if you have customers that require the ability uh, to have a copy of say their packing list, the bill of lading, export documentation, all that can be automated uh, just uh, with a couple of clicks on the setup and have all of those documents sent out. And this can be done through your own SMTP server or uh, POP account where you have visibility to any of the replies any of the uh, responses or feedback will come directly back to you if you're sending it through the carrier. And that more or less just goes into the void, so you'd have no visibility there. All right, let's go ahead and turn things over to Hillary from APS. All righty. So uh, I'll pick up where you left off after you've shipped your orders. But first, I wanted to give a rundown of who we are at APS Payments. My name is Hillary Heath, but we are APS Payments. We have been in the credit card processing industry for over a decade, and we process for thousands of merchants in 20 plus countries. Um, and our mission is really to seamlessly integrate with the technology you already use to bring you the most comprehensive and best suited ways to process for you and your company. Here's a little flashback of when we could actually get together. I'm over on the right-hand side. Uh, we know that you're missing this just as much as we are, but I wanted to show you that we've stacked our team with payment processing experts that can help guide you through every step of the journey from deciphering fees and rates and understanding the impact of the methods in which you choose to process, helping you implement the technology, a lot of which we will cover today. So your payment solution can impact a lot of aspects of your business, some obviously like cash flow and bottom line, but others are a little less obvious like customer satisfaction and your workflow efficiencies. 
I feel as if payment processing gets overlooked a lot in businesses today because that's probably because there is a shroud of mystery around statements and payments. And if you're not familiar with all that's out there in the processing world, it's sometimes viewed as one of those necessary but draining costs, both financially and metaphorically. So you've spent all this time and energy working on fine tuning your business engine. And imagine investing in your business processes like shipping with those automation tools. Orders are out the door. But now you need to make sure that you're collecting on those orders. And, and it's likely that your payment process has some room for improvement. Um, and I'm, I'm looking at things like time consuming duplicate entry. You may be totally lost on deciphering your processing fees. Am I even getting the best rate? And, and maybe you're just not getting the answers that you need from your payment processor currently. Or the simple fact is you might not be able to process the payment, process payments the way that your customers need you to. Here's my obligatory COVID impact slide. And although we're hearing some positive um, news about COVID right now, we're not back to business as normal or business as was previously operating. Um, the changes that came from COVID protocols pushed more companies to move online, amplified those needs to provide a B2C experience for B2B customers. So take a minute and think about what parts of the B2C experience that you appreciate as a customer. I'm talking about payments in my pajamas and, and not having to call in and talk to a human to pay my invoice. These are the things that we love. Um, but really just modernizing the business to business relationships that we need to operate effectively. This trend doesn't end with individual consumers. B2B company decision makers are also staying home and looking for safe, secure, and easy ways to process business to business transactions remotely. Keeping a business running is really tough and helping your customers pay you should not be. So modern problems really require modern solutions, right? And gone are the days of writing paper checks and walking down to the bank to cash, the old post-it note with your customer's CC information so you can type it in the key bag. That is not a secure way to handle payments. So the short of it is customers need the ability to pay you in the way that is best suited for them. I'm trying to be very deliberate with my wording here because I didn't want to say you need a lot of ways to get paid. You just want to get paid, right? But each of your customers may have a preferred or sometimes, like in the middle of a pandemic, a necessary way to pay their vendors. And leveraging the right solutions and partnering with payment companies like APS Payments could be the best way for B2B and tech companies to adapt. The concept that we're talking about is something called omni-channel payments, which is really just a cool and concise way of saying, give the customers what they want. Why omni-channel? It's like, well, they say variety is the spice of life. And you can see that we have a variety of ways to pay. Um, now's a good time to tune back into the webinar deck if you've popped off screen for a second and check out this nice graphic. Um, that's my expertise at the top, SAP Business One. But the cool thing about APS payments is that our omni-channel payment philosophy is allowing these solutions to work together to best find your situation and your processing solution. We want a custom-fitted payment solution that aligns your workflows and processes to meet your customer needs. And if you're following that omni-channel payment approach and using tools like Starship to improve your business processes, the last thing you want to do is worrying about how you get paid. APS Payments has an amazing feature that allows you to keep focusing on doing what you are good at at your business. That's going to be something called our APS Pays Click to Pay. Um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to hop back into SAP. After we get our orders shipped, we want to explore something um, called click to pay to send out our invoices. You send an email, the customer clicks a button, and you get paid. So I'll bring up business one and pop over to an invoice here. I'm just going to create a standard invoice. No matter how your invoice gets over to the invoicing stage, whether it goes through sales order and delivery, using a module like Starship, It'll end up in the invoicing stage and you'll want to get paid. Our click to pay feature is going to automatically send something called a click to pay link to your customers so they're able to pay you on their time. We saved our invoice here. 
And we'll notice that we can generate a click to pay link over on the right hand side in which your customers can literally click to pay. Pulling up the invoice here, this is fully customizable with your logo. This is just a standard invoice template that allows your customers to find and enter that click to pay button. We'll wait for this to load in Crystal Reports, and then I'll show you the APS payment click to pay experience. They're going to click on the link, and they're going to be able to pay you online. They've got some a couple outstanding invoices here, so we can add them up and pay multiple payments at a time, or we can focus on the invoice that we're looking at currently. They can enter new credit card information, pay with their bank account using ACH, and even save payment information for future use if they're a returning customer. I'll go ahead and pay that invoice of 107.25 and enter these credit card details in. Enter expiration date, and they submit their payment. After this, your customer is done. You'll go back into SAP to see these payments in their incoming payments and realize and reconcile easily. This takes the payment processing hassle out of your hands and puts the payment ease into your customers. We'll pop back into SAP here. Everything will close out and you'll be able to reconcile easily within SAP. I'll log back into my webinar here or my uh, slide deck here, and talk a little bit about something called level three processing. So you'll notice here on these invoices that we found through Click to Pay that you're able to um, uh, detail out line item detail. That line item detail is very important when you're assessing rates. We don't have a lot of time today, so I want to skip over to our payment processing requirements this level three information will allow you to utilize the best rate when processing. Why does it make sense to engage APS payments? You've already spent all this time, energy, and oftentimes money implementing these other resources to streamline your business process. We're going to make sure that we're saving you the most money with that level three processing, having a safe, secure payment, and supporting the efficiency by reducing the time you're spending processing payments. It's a seamless integration that allows users to continue processing the way they know how to process with an SAP. All you have to do is submit your statements and we'll start an analysis review and carry on through implementation. And then you can start saving money. If you wanna learn more, my contact information is up on the screen and I will pass it back to Megan and Chris to go over questions. Awesome. Thanks, uh, Chris and Hillary, for the great presentation. And I'm going to go ahead and launch a quick poll. There we go. And while you guys take a couple minutes just to answer that, we also have some questions that have come in. And so we'll go ahead and answer those while you're doing that. Um, first question is from Mike, and it's for Chris. And Chris, the question is, who do you work with for EDI? Uh, really, Starship is EDI agnostic. Uh, we do have uh, standard integrations that we've done with uh, SPS Commerce and True Commerce, uh, but there's also a uh, you know, custom EDI option that uh, could really be bolted on to any other solution. Uh, so, uh, you know, there's a number of other vendors out there, but those are the two that we have probably the closest relationship. But uh, Starship could be, you know, hooked into uh, any other EDI platform in a number of ways. Typically, we hand off uh, XML for the ASM data. Uh, there's also options to write data out to a SQL table or view, uh, or we have uh, views that are exposed on our database if uh, the EDI solution wants to extract data directly from um, our tables, so, so really, you know, plenty of options there. Uh, Starship can also generate the uh, container IDs and uh, print the labels for 128 labels if uh, you need those for your trading partners. So really no limitation on uh, which EDI solution that uh, you want to partner up with. Okay, great. Thank you, Chris. Um, and we have another question that came in from Jen, and this is for Hillary. 
What are the costs for the click to pay and additional features with API? So there's actually no cost for any additional features. This is all comes with our standard integration. So you're able to send out those invoices to your customers without any fees or um, monthly charges that are on top of your processing fees. Okay, great, thank you. And this question I think is actually for both of you guys. This one came from Mike. What is the typical installation timeframe look like? Um, Chris, if you want to go first and then Hillary after. Sure, uh, so it really depends on the number of sites and the profile of the shipper, uh, how many carriers, if, if there's any other companion solutions like a WMS or EDI. Um, so you know, a basic, you know, typical installation for, let's say, a couple of users and a couple of carriers, uh, probably under 10 hours end to end, uh, usually broken up into a series of appointments, uh, in, initial kickoff call. Uh, the install itself is typically about four hours. I uh, will come back and do some additional configuration and then follow up with some training. Um, so, you know, each of these, you know, we have a standard install package, but uh, we can also scope the project uh, with one of our technicians and uh, provide a statement of work that is you know, specific to your project and whatever needs you particularly have. Awesome. Thanks, Chris. Hi. And then Hillary, do you want to that for APS? Yeah, so the integration that we have for business one is actually a lightweight add-on so the installation is very minimal we'll pop on your um system landscape directory for sap v1 and actually complete the installation and training in about an hour so it's a very minimally invasive bolt-on add-on that just allows you to create additional tabs within business one um, the installation is um, really, really the most complex part about it is getting the um, admin credentials. So uh, it's a very short installation process after we complete our bank underwriting. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much, sir. And I'm going to go ahead and close out this poll, and we're just about at 2:30. But well, we're going to put up um, Chris and Hillary's contact information again. And please feel free to reach out with any questions to them directly. And for the people that answered the poll, we'll definitely be following up with you. Um, Chris, do you mind putting up those? Contact yes. It, it looks like I'm not sharing. One sec. Okay, thank you. There we go. So this has both, uh, both their email addresses and also both companies, Twitter and LinkedIn's accounts to follow. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just let Chris and Hillary uh, finish up and thank you everybody for joining. Yep, thanks everybody. Appreciate you guys taking the time to join us today to learn more about both of our solutions. Uh, feel free to contact me if you have any questions. I'd be happy to uh, set up a one-on-one -on -one call or demo with your team to take you through the software and answer any questions that you may have on the solution. Thanks a lot, everybody. I enjoy working with you guys and presenting with you. Hope to see you soon.